Calculating the duration between two times in a single day is a pretty common occurrence in Google Sheets. For example, I have this project task template here, and I'm doing a lot of calculations and getting the total hours between days all through the workbook here. So how do we do it? Well, it's fairly simple, but there's a couple of gotchas along the way that I want to point out. So let's get started. First, let's create some headers in cell A1. Let's type in start time. And B1, end time. And C, we'll call duration. All right, let's just select that. I'm going to select A1, hold shift down, and select C1, and hit control B to bold. So the next thing we could possibly do is start typing in some times and Google Sheets will try and figure out what sort of format it is. So I'll go, oh, that might be a time format. It'll format it accordingly. But let's give it a hand and tell it exactly how we want to display our times. I'm going to click A2, hold shift down and select B2. And we can go up to format here and select numbers and then go all the way down to the bottoms to custom date and time. So let's select and customize it. Now, in most spreadsheets, you have the common or best practice is usually to use 24 hour time, but you can also use AM and PM time here. And those options are available in these custom time formats too. So let's uh, scroll down and see if we can find one of those. As you can see here, we've got the 1.30 PM. And if I select that, you can see up the top here that there's an hour there's a colon, a minute, space, and then AM, PM that has appeared. And these values can change. You can shorten them so it's only a P and an A as an end suffix. And the minutes can be uh, without a leading zero, which would be very weird. And your hours could have a leading zero in it as well. Now, we want to keep things in 24-hour time. So I'm going to use this 1330 time here. And with the leading zero is fine, and the leading zero for the minutes is fine as well. You can see the colon in between, so let's hit apply for those two. So now if I put in a time here, so let's say uh, I put in or 810 in the morning, so 0810, so 08 colon 10, I hit tab, that's going to appear just fine. If I put in, uh, for example, 2 p.m., that should come up with 1400, and it does. So now we've got our custom formats sorted out perfectly. Great. So why didn't I do that with duration? Well, you probably could use the same formatting for duration for within a day, but uh, for a later tutorial, we're probably going to do durations over more than one day. Let's keep our rules consistent here and change our duration accordingly. So select C2 this time, and we're going to repeat this format step. So go to format, number, custom date and time, and this time we're looking for the duration marker. So that's going to be this weird one here with a bunch of numbers at the front, then a colon, then two numbers after the colon. And they're gonna be hours, how many hours in duration, and then minutes. So let's click on that. And you can see now it says elapsed hours and minutes. Now you've got a choice to add a leading zero here, but for example, if there was 100 hours in there, you don't really need a leading zero. So I like to keep it the way it is. And then we've got a colon and minutes. Now you could add other things in here. Instead of using the colon, we could delete that. So I've clicked on here and I've gone HRS and space. And on this side, we could go min or mins. And that would be displayed in column C2. But I like the way things were. So let's uh, go back, let's delete that. Intuitively, you know it's going to be hours and minutes. So colon there and delete that space there. And let's hit apply. Great. Okay, so all we need to do now is uh, create a start time and an end time and then do our duration calculation. So for example, if we want to put in 9.45 a.m., so 09.45 in the morning, and our next time might be, uh, let's say 2.20 in the afternoon. So if that would, in 24 hour time, that would be 14.20 in the afternoon. And now to work out the duration or how much time elapsed between the start time and the end time, all we need to do is hit equals to create a formula and it's already helping us out here. So thanks very much, but we can go B2 minus A2 and that'll give us our time and we'll hit enter. And that's our time there, done. 
and that's our duration. So the four hours and 35 minutes has elapsed. Now, if you have other users using this Google Sheet that you have created, you might want to make some custom data validation to make sure they're writing in the, the correct times. And we'll talk about that in the next tutorial. So it's probably a good idea to click that like button and subscribe so you know when the next tutorial pops up. If you want your own copy of this template project task sheet, it is available in the link below for purchase. Until next time.